Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's JD here, and we're back after how long? It's been like a year. It's been like a year. It's been forever. <laughs> it's been forever. But me, Paul Gabriel's here with us today. Hey. We are back on um this. What is our show called? GTN. <laughs> this this week in gaming tech and nerd. It has been. A long ass time, but yeah, we're back and um, we're hanging out in my office and we've got some topics to talk about this week and, and a new couch and a new couch and we're all sitting on a couch. It's very cozy, very comfortable. Ooh. These are my boys. These are my boys. Hi. Right. So we're going to get right into this with a, um, I guess our first topic of the day for things that have happened in the past week is Splatoon. 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 We're talking about Splatoon. Splatgoons. 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 Yeah. So that what? game. I guess did that game drop yeah, this past week or last came week? Out last week. All right. So Splatoon. Oh. <laughs> Splatoon <laughs> came out last week, and um, I guess just everybody's thoughts on it. Gabe, we'll start with you. Um, I have not played it. You so don't have the game? I don't have it yet. I, w- I was gonna pick it up today. But oh. I don't know. Have you played it though? I played it at E3 like last year, but oh. it didn't even have like all the weapons. It only had the machine gun. From what you've seen, joint. from what you've seen online, what do you think so far? Based upon your just like view of the game, it looks cool. It looks like a old school PlayStation Two game. You know, like the whole feel of it. Looks Ape like, Escape. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, <laughs> all right, like, cool. Uh, I yeah thought. Think. That it reminds me of the days of the Dreamcast. Okay. Yes. Like right next to Grand, not Grand Theft Auto, uh, Dead Grand Radio is what I'm getting that feeling. It's pretty fun. A cheat with the paint roller. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cheap weapon. Best weapon. I guess. I, I've, I've, I've had it, and you guys know I've, I've been doing stuff with Nintendo. I went to their little mess fest and whatnot. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, I played the game at E3. I went to like uh, whatever. I went to like a little event where I vlogged about it. I've had, uh, I've been playing a retail copy of the last day or two, and we live streamed it recently. I think it's fun. Genuinely just a sit down, have a good time type of game. Like you don't need a lot of like time to, re- you don't need to think about it. You just get the game, play it, you're happy. You know? Yeah. I think it's a good game. Good, 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 <laughs> good, game. Good, good game. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, it's very Nintendo. What, do you guys think it is a fresh start to a Nintendo IP that's needed? Like, do you think Nintendo need an IP and this is it? Yeah, well, like, the thing that they said like, a couple, like, days before it came out is, this is, it's been 14 years since Nintendo made a new game? Made a new wow. character. Wow, that's crazy. So... I'm well, I, I'm proud. I'm proud of Splagoons, Splatoon. Splatoon. <laughs> Clap it up for Splatoon! Yay! All right, on to our next subject. Uh, actually, let's see which one. Um, let's make that. Actually, we'll make that the last one. All right, we're gonna talk about Paul's Witcher experience. Yay. The Witcher Wild Hunt, The Witcher Three. Paul loves this game. He Guys, he loves this game let me more know. than life itself. And Paul, just take it away. Just here, here take it away. You guys aren't even in the room. The story is to tell about Geralt of Rivia. All right. I've wasted, as of this recording, 68 hours of the Witcher 3. <laughs> you played the game for 68 hours? Yes. God dang it. That's a lot. It's killed my sleep schedule. I will play it. It's dark. I will, I'll open up my window. It's the daytime. <laughs> it's been like that the last two weeks. And I'm not near the end. I think I'm near the end, but I feel like there's so much more to be done. Oh, Guys, man. this game is my game of the year. What, give us, As give a, us. You'll never get back your life. Game of your year. Give us The Witcher in 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 three words. Oh, man. That's two. <laughs> oh, man. God? Is that what you said? Yes. No, three words. That's three words. Oh, man. God. What? That's, oh, man. All right. It is good. Illuminati. <laughs> um... Okay, so Paul Paul likes The Witcher. Um, oh my gosh, guys, let me like. Oh. It's so immersive. <laughs> the storylines are so good. Girl to Rivia is the coolest monotone character you'll ever play in a video game. She smashes 
all the baddies. <laughs> wait, wait, land. that's not that's not PG. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I didn't say exactly. Baddies could be bad guys. <laughs> he kills them. He slays them with his oh phallic sword of silver and phallic sword. Phallic Ew. Sword. <laughs> it's either steel or people are gonna silver. Google what phallic means. Sorry, children. Right, Paul. Oh They're my gosh. One day. All right. So that's, game of the year. That's great. Game of the year. Until another game uh, we discuss later. Um. There's, I guess, uh, sh- it's been, you know what, we talked about this last year, literally, I was going to, this is a different subject, but I was thinking, uh, how do, are we excited for Batman this month? Yes. No. Whoa. What? what? Why not? I've been watching the footage of Batman. It's the exact same game. They've all been the same game, bro. <laughs> it's bad when I'm noticing all the animations are the exact same. Oh, so it's not like any type of you think it's the just, Batmobile stuff is new. It's just next gen it's looking. It's just prettier. But um, like all the combat looks the exact same. I've I, what you never played any of them. I never. <laughs> I didn't like even expect it to be anything different from Batmobile and look prettier. I had which one was it that I had that Arkham we played? City. Arkham City. I played like the, the first, first level. Hour. I played the first hour and I didn't get bored as much as I don't like. For some reason, I don't like Batman fighting in the top down view the way that like Assassin's Creed is for some reason. It's the same stuff, right? No, now, I'm not saying this actions are the same, but it's the same view. It's the same. It view. switches. OK, well, I, I don't know why I wasn't again. I wasn't with it. Something about Batman video games aren't as cool to me as Batman. Batman. I but and you in get this the, game, they want you to be the Batman. I guess. That's Gabe, what, what are you? Are you gonna buy it? <laughs> like I already have a copy of it, but it's I gotta wait for it to unlock. Okay, he got a PC copy. It's coming out. It's coming out. Oh, guys, let me explain <laughs> what happens. In the magical world of the PC Master Race. Nobody cares. I upgraded my computer. And I got The Witcher Three for free. And I got <sighs> Batman for free. He just loves and PC, then, guys. If you were gangster enough and join me on the PC Master Race, there's places where you can buy Batman Arkham Knight, twenty dollars. That's with all the DLC. <gasps> Hooray, Paul! Hooray for you! Um, PC Gaming Elite Master Race. All right, so I mean, we've been talking uh, not too long, but I was gonna say, how about uh, are you guys excited for? And this is kind of like an E3 kind of question, but not really. Uh, Lucas being released on the 14th yes. of uh, yes. June. Yes. Lucas That's is coming boy. out yes. and That's my man. he'll be around soon that to be a playable amiibo. I, God. <laughs> Took time for me. Um, okay. I just know that Lucas is coming out, right? So, Hype Train. That's great. Mewtwo came out. I played with him a few times. He's fun to play with. like a fun little party thing, whatever. Um, but Lucas... I kind of like Lucas. I'm excited. I'm excited to play as Lucas, and I don't know what to expect, I guess. I'm more excited for the Amiibo. <laughs> Personally, the Amiibo aspect of it is what really gets, grinds my gears, gets me gets me going. It's going to be a <laughs> Kmart exclusive. Oh, God. Kmart. I went to Kmart to try to buy Amiibo. They didn't have any. Plus, they had NBA 2K12 in the shelves. I was like, get. I was, I was like, yo, get this shit out of here, son. Get this shit out of here, son. Okay, and our last and final topic to talk about today, uh, Fallout 4 is coming out. Nobody knows when. 2016? October. This year? Mm-hmm. No, they yeah, gave an announcement. Mm-hmm. Date? I mean... They never say that. It said you can pre-order it. Oh, you can pre-order it. Okay, so Fallout 4. I don't know how many of you guys are fa- fans of Fallout. I haven't really tried it. I played it once at Ronnie's house back when we we were both at college. Oh, but uh, all I know is that it looks fun. I guess it takes place in a post-apocalyptic thingy. You're explaining Fallout? I'm not. I'm just saying. I said I guess. I lost you're, my life wait, to Fallout. Can, wait, I, wait, can wait, I guess? Wait, 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 you're guessing? <laughs> can I you're guessing Fallout's a post From the trailer, oh, oh, oh. it's all 1940s, and then it's all like, boom, explosions, and then it's all like, I'm a monster. Oh, oh, monster, monster, Fallout. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Gabe, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Gabe's face. Fallout is life. <laughs> you, you played it? I beat all of them, man. Did he really? Yeah. When? Vegas. Three. I didn't play the first two. 
Vegas and all that matter. Yeah, the first two either. So y'all ain't really Fallout fans. I'm Fallout no. fan. Let me explain. Y'all Fallout 3 fans. Let me explain this. Y'all weak. Fallout 3 changed my life. All right, so give me your... Here we go. What are your... It what? was the year 2008. The year switched to 2009. Okay. I was in a bad car accident. That Earth you caused. Damage. I know, Ooh. I got hit by a drunk driver. The second one? The second one. The one the person came by and hit you... Yeah, drunk driver. ...on the street? New Year's Eve. Aww. I was in my bed for a week. Oh, no. Nerve damage to my leg. Oh, God. Fractured rib. There was not a fractured rib. It was rib. a fractured rib. <laughs> it wasn't fractured from... It was a fractured rib. <laughs> it wasn't fractured from some... <laughs> it was hurting so bad. It wasn't fractured from some Chipotle you had. <laughs> Chipotle wasn't even invented then. Chipotle's Chipotle been around since 2006, bro. Chipotle was nowhere near us at this point in time. And then in that oh, sadness that I felt oh, in my bed, go, 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 go. I played Fallout 3. I traveled the DC wasteland. Uh -huh. I liberated the ghouls from the tunnels of the wasteland. I saved Three Dog. Oh! <laughs> Three Dog. I found the Fat Man. You know what that is? <sighs> Mini nuke launcher. Blew up everything. <laughs> I had the opportunity to blow up Megaton, but I said no. Why? Because I'm a goddamn hero. <laughs> <laughs> the and then you say, Fallout 3 might be in a post-apocalyptic world? I said four. How Fallout dare 4. you? Fallout 4. How dare you? So it is a post-apocalyptic. <laughs> I bought the game again recently and all of the DLC for New Vegas and 3. And then I put it on my glorious, glorious PC. And I modded the ever-living hell out of it. <laughs> and it is now amazing. So when Fallout 4 was rumored to be announced, that is the only game I actually cared about at E3 that I knew of. And now it is here. <laughs> and it's gonna be so glorious. And if the rumors is true that it's coming out in October, you will never see me again. All right. <laughs> I'll be too busy watching Boston. Rue Dog. Three Dog. Whoops. <laughs> Is that from the friggin' game? Yes. Three dog. You guys are funny. Is that is, is Fallout Three anything like Borderlands? No. No. It's really? Much, much better. It's Skyrim with guns. Made by the same people. All right. Well, cool. Awesome. Do you have any more info on Fallout? Did you get? Did he get to talk about it? <laughs> you just excited? Go get Fallout. <laughs> Fallout Four, guys. And ever since Fallout Four got announced. On Steam, mm. Fallout 3 sales are number one. Ooh. People went out and okay. rebought three. Ooh. Be out of excitement. That's a smart Ooh. idea. I want to do God that. Just it. play it all the way through again. And then Bethesda, if they're smart, they will release. So a Bethesda Fallout made 3. Skyrim and this. Yes. Okay. If they're smart, they would release Fallout 3 at New Vegas HD collection due out end of the summer. They're already HD now. HD er. Because that's what the remaster remasters because that's what everybody's doing. Uh huh. Release it at the end of August. Prep everybody for October uh -huh. when they release that sweet Fallout 4 goodness. All right. Well, I haven't played Fallout, so I'm not as talented Filthy at talking about casual. it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Filthy casual. Hey, you, you, you just play. You just make sure. Geometry you, dash. You just make. <laughs> <laughs> you just make sure you don't <laughs> effing poser. How dare you even <laughs> dream this hey, about Fallout? You just make sure you don't f fracture your ribs on any more Chipotle. <laughs> don't fracture your toilet. <laughs> All right, look, guys. So thank you for watching this episode of This Week in Gaming Tech and Nerd Stuff with Paul and JD and Gabe this week. Uh, if you enjoy this little series that we have that we're bringing back to life, uh, hit that like button. It always helps. It'll let us know if we should make another episode. The more likes and we'll make another one of these uh, for the next week. Yeah, for E3. We'll make an E3 preview episode and that way you guys will have an idea of what it is that we're going to think uh, what we're considering to go check out because we're all going E3 this year. Yeah! yeah! And we're going we're gonna to have massive footage for the channel and channels. Paul's probably going to put some down. Maybe Gabe will put some on his. But yes, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to favorite, share, share this with people. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Almost yes. there. We hit, we hit 96,000 today. Oh my God. Yes. 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 I just hit 6,000. Yes. You only need 90. 90,000 more. Everybody only, go click. It only took links. five years to get to this point. Oh um, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, links in the description below. If you guys ever want to hit me on social media, I'll put these guys' links as well. If you want to follow them, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you guys like, and Snapchat. Uh, and other than that, uh, subscribe if you're new here. This is Run JD Run. Thank you all for being a part of this. And we will catch you next week if you like this a lot, or hopefully, or maybe. It depends on you guys. Now, we're going to do this more. But yeah, we'll see you again. Bye. Bye.